walk like an angel walk like an angel talk like an angel but i got wise i'm the devil in Why, hello there, my little human. Aren't you quite a sight? <laughs> I wouldn't struggle if I were you. Those chains I put on you are extremely tight. It won't be coming off. Oh? What's that? Hmm? I'm sorry, I, I can't understand what you're trying to say. Oh! That's because I put a gag in your mouth. <laughs> you can't yell, scream, or call for help. I mean, all you'll be doing is moaning. Not that I mind, however. It is quite arousing and appealing. <laughs> so adorable. Oh, please, forgive me. Or are my manners? I'm Ophelia, the succubus. You and your buddy summoned me a few times, remember? Your eyes grow wide. Good. That goes to show me that you do remember. You humans are quite entertaining. Doing some kind of ritual. Lighting up candles in the dark while using a Ouija board, hoping to speak with the dead when all you're doing is summoning the devil into your own home. Very stupid indeed. I mean, come on. Did you honestly believe that you could summon a relative that's been dead for several years so that you can tell them how much you miss them and wish they could come back? Oh, no, 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 that's not how it works. You see, we as demons and succubus may manipulate you to make you think that you are talking to a deceased person. I mean, here's an example. I don't know if you ever heard of Annabelle, the possessed doll. I don't understand why humans think the doll is possessed. You see, Annabelle, or the doll per se, wasn't really possessed. Demonic spirits don't possess things. We possess people. And by doing so, we try to gain your trust by using objects as conduit so that when the moment comes, we can get a hold of you. As for you, using the Ouija board, I pretended to be your deceased relative to earn your trust so that I can take your soul. And here I am, and here you are, all bound and gagged as I'm about to take it from you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's all right. You're fine. Settle down. There's really no need to fight against those restraints of yours. Besides, by the time your family, friends, or the cops show up, We'll be long gone away from this world. <laughs> oh yes, we will be coming 
going into my world. <laughs> There's no way of escape now. <laughs> hmm. Now you're probably thinking, why you? Why not someone else? <laughs> well, because, first of all, you are an easy target. You are such an easy prey. And second of all, in general, you are very pure, weak, sensitive, submissive, and very attractive. <laughs> you stick to those who have those qualities. Think of it as someone stepping on gum. Once you step on it, you take it with you. I mean, <laughs> why do you think those people, those bullies and managers of yours, have stayed away from you? Was it because you were a freak? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was because I... I think you get the point. <laughs> I've made sure they don't go anywhere near you. You should be grateful, really. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, without bullies in this world, it would have been a much safer place, but you know, you just have to have them, right? <laughs> Ah, you should have seen the look on their faces when they saw me, per se. They finally got the message of leaving you alone. <laughs> I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> well, <laughs> lies, actually. I did do something to them. I might have haunted them. I might have wrote them a message. To leave you alone. Otherwise, <laughs> bad things would happen to them, such as the spirits taking their soul and dragging them down to hell. Ah, well, they believed me. <laughs> I just couldn't let them break your pureness of heart, your soul. Besides, that's my job. <laughs> no, we can't have any human beings take you away from me and taint your body, mind, and soul. That's just no fun. Not at all. <laughs> You're shivering, my dear. <laughs> ah, We're gonna have so much fun together. Oh, and... Don't worry about your friends and family. I've already t took care of them. <laughs> I'll make sure to take good care of you and your soul. You're basically the reason why I'm here anyways. I'll make sure you'll come to love me. Come to love my place. Come to love as being my pet. <laughs> knows maybe you will willingly or forcefully and it does depend on how well you behaved however if you don't behave if you don't cooperate I'll have to punish you <laughs> there you go shivering again are you getting a little excited <laughs> I mean, once a human shivers, I don't know, it could be shivering in fear, or you could be shivering in excitement. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you love being punished by me. <laughs> maybe your, your mind will find it a little bit more pleasuring and pleasing. Maybe not your mind, but maybe your body. <laughs> mm, so adorable 
Now, as much as I want to go on and keep talking and teasing you, uh, we should probably get going. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not going to drug you. No, I, that's not, that's not something we do. <laughs> um, we do put others to sleep by just one blow on the face. See, us demons and succubus, we have the power to make humans go to sleep. And I'm going to hope that you have sweet dreams. Hmm. Real quick. Say goodbye to this world because you'll be coming with me forever. <laughs> Hmm, sweet dreams, my little one.